It's your girl Juma Kel Detala, aka Miss Gaganta. Yes, keep on watching this Nigeria. On the headlines, actress Funke Akindele and husband JJC Skills part ways. If you get scammed by fake pastors, it is your fault, Mike Bamiloye says. On the foreign news, court jails are Kelly for 30 years. Now the news in details. Nollywood actress and producer Funke Akindele and her husband Abdul Rashid Bello, also known as JJC Skills, have parted ways. JJC made the announcement via Instagram page on Thursday. There had been rumors that the couple were experiencing marital problems after one of his children with his ex-wife brought the family's issues to public knowledge. Confirming the separation, JJC wrote, Friends and family, I need to let you know that Funke and I have been separated. While it lasted, we shared a lot of things together and have created two beautiful children. The last two years have been extremely difficult for us. I know I have tried my best to fix things, but I believe it is beyond repair now. Three months ago, and at Funke's insistence, I moved out of the house and apart from AMVCA, I have not been able to get Funke to sit down in an amicable manner to discuss the future of our relationship. I am making this announcement so that the public is clear that we both are pursuing separate lives. We still have issues that need to be addressed, such as the custody and well-being of our children, which is paramount, as well as business interests, which need to be disentangled. But I have no doubt that this will be resolved one way or the other. Also, Christian filmmaker Mike Bamiloya said that those who get duped and scammed by fake pastors are at fault. The president of Mount Zion Television said this in an Instagram post on Thursday, June 30th. According to Mike Bamiloye, the world is filled with fake pastors, fake lawyers, people who have become cross-dressers and others. Adding that fake pastors also exist and anyone who gets scammed by them is at fault. He said, if you are duped and scammed by the fake pastors, it is your fault. If you go to hell because of fake pastors, it is absolutely your fault. On the international scene, American R&B singer Robert Sylvester Kelly, popularly known as R. Kelly, has been sentenced to 30 years imprisonment on Wednesday by a New York court for using his fame to sexually abuse young fans. Several of R. Kelly's accusers disclosed to the court their ordeal in the hands of the singer over the years. The singer was last year found guilty of racketeering and sex trafficking at a trial that gave voice to accusers who thought their stories were being ignored because they were black. The sentence caps a slow motion fall for the legendary singer who is known for his work including the 1996 hit I Believe I Can Fly and the cult classic Trapped in the Closet. According to testimonies, Kelly gave several accusers sexually transmitted diseases without disclosing his condition. He coerced a teenage boy to join him for sex with a naked girl who emerged from underneath a boxing ring in his garage and several other shaming sexual activities. The singer who still faces child pornography and obstruction of justice charges in Chicago where a trial is scheduled to begin August 15th.